Hi everyone, my name is Jessica and today I'm here to talk about one of my favorite subgenres of romance and that is Western romances. I love a good Western romance, whether he just wears a cowboy hat or he actually is involved with animals, maybe he works on a ranch, maybe he just likes to ride some horses. There is just something about a cowboy that makes me excited. So I have some western romances that you should start with if you're looking to get into the genre or just more recommendations if you already love the genre and just want some more cowboys in your life. The first recommendation I have for you is Fortune's Faux Engagement. This one is a fake engagement romance which I feel like just is a step above fake dating because not only do they have to act like they love each other, they have to act like they're literally going to get married and what happens is the heroine actually says that he is her fiance and that's how it all starts and she is shocked when he actually agrees. He is a startup titan who is looking into his own past and trying to uncover answers so she is shocked when he plays along and says that they are actually engaged and she has to think is he just playing along though or are there some real feelings involved? We have the iconic setting of being in Texas. We have a hero in a cowboy hat perfect western romance to start with. If you are someone who loves single dad, second chance, going home after leaving your small town for the big city life and realizing it's not all it's cracked up to be, you have to check out this book. Big Sky Christmas, our heroine, she had left her small town ranch life for the big city life and she realizes she doesn't love it. So she goes home for Christmas and she runs back into the boy next door who was the neighboring ranch heir. And she's like, um, I'm kind of feeling some old feelings. He is actually now a single dad of two girls. He runs his own ranch. This does take place in Montana and one of his daughters though is not the most excited about her being back in his life and so now they have to focus on Christmas and second chances and on a ranch in Montana which you cannot get more perfect than that. If you want a rancher and a romantic suspense you need to pick up Vanished in Texas where our heroine has gone home to small town Texas to visit her grandmother and realizes she's missing and they have a lot of elderly people that have gone missing in this small town and so her grandmother was dating someone. She does join forces with his rancher son in order to try to figure out what happened to her grandmother and where all these people are going. Unfortunately they know she's going to return home to California and leave the small town behind but there might be someone who could convince her to stay in this romantic suspense western romance. If you like a little rodeo in your romance you need to pick up Montana Mavericks. This one is in Montana and and our hero thinks that this hotshot rodeo star might actually be his biological father. He is trying to uncover this 30 year old mystery and the heroine is actually a rodeo star as well. They end up starting this affair and they're like it's not going to get serious but then they kind of get tangled up in a lot of family secrets and family lies and a lot of real feelings that start getting involved in the mix as well. So if you want a rodeo star where the heroine is actually the rodeo star and the hero is just trying to discover secrets that have long been kept in the family, I would definitely recommend checking out Montana Mavericks. The last one I have is Rancher's Return. This one is actually a single parent romance where both of them are single parents and they are thrown back into each other's lives because she finds his adopted son in her daughter's bedroom. So she comes dragging him home, yells at our hero, and he is actually the former wild child of the town and he is back in town and obviously sparks are going to start flying between them. He's back in their small town though because he wants stability for his three adopted sons. He has really grown though and he's definitely not the same wild child he was that she knew but she doesn't know if she can trust him with her heart especially because of the reputation he had in the past but now they're both single parents having to deal with some issues that arise with their kids and fall in love in the process. If you love the western setting, the cowboys, the Montana ranches, the Texas ranches, I would definitely recommend checking out all of these romances to get that cowboy western fix that we all know and love. Definitely let me know in the comments which one of these you are most excited to read and let me know your favorite part about reading a western romance. That's all I have. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Bye.